This analogy is given about daytime or nighttime? I re keep repeating myself. Is daytime or nighttime? Nighttime. And the, the light of Allah, when Allah describes His light, it's similar to daytime. So the light of the believer, the light of the believer will truly shine in dark times. The light of the believer, your iman, will truly look beautiful when Islam is not dominant, when Islam is being suppressed and attacked and there's darkness all around. That is when your light is needed. Some of us ask, why were, not we, why were we not born in happy times? How come there's so much anti-Islam all around us? Because Allah chose you, He saw something in the light that is inside of you, that you should be born in this day and age. Because in, the, in, the, in this night that is filled with darkness, there needs to be some light. And that is the people of La ilaha illallah. That is every single Muslim here. And every single Muslim that isn't here. He said the people of the earth, when we look up at night, what do we see? Twinkling stars, yes? And the people of the sky, the angels. And by the way, we see physical light. But the angels are spiritual creatures. So they see spiritual reality. The angels in the sky look down on the earth and they see the stars, the lights of Iman twinkling inside these homes. So just like we look up at twinkling stars, they look, up at the, look down at the light of Iman inside the hearts of the believers in the middle of the night. Which is no surprise that in this ayah later on, Allah will talk about people who make Qiyam al-Layl. They, they pray all night, you know. And it, it's no surprise that in this surah, incredible, when even Salat is mentioned, Salat is talked about in this passage. When he talks about it, he says, فِي بُيُوتٍ أَذِنَ اللَّهُ أَن تُرْفَعَ وَيُذْكَرَ فِيهَا اسْمُهُ the, 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 the homes that should be elevated, they are raised, and his, main, his name should be mentioned in them. His name should be mentioned suggests his name should be pronounced out loud. We have five prayers in a day. How many of them are loud? I know it's a PhD question, but think about it. Five prayers in a day, how many are loud? And all three of them are in the dark. All three of them are in the dark. And Allah Azza wa makes mention of that because it's in dark times you have to raise your voice and call to Allah even more. SubhanAllah. And so the, the final bit, Yahdi Lahu li nurihi. This is what's supposed to be the title of this talk. And they, I don't know, they're on a roll this time. They keep giving me the last part of a long ayah and I get stuck like, how am I going to talk about this? They just always give me the last part. He says, يَهْدِ اللَّهُ لِنُورِهِ مَنْ يَشَاء Allah guides all the way to His light. Allah did not say Allah guides to His light. If He said to His light, it would have been إِلَى نُورِهِ He said all the way to His light. لِلْغَايَة That's because of Lam. He said, يَهْدِ اللَّهُ لِنُورِهِ Now what difference does it make? It makes a huge difference. The light that is inside of me came from where? Came from Allah. The light that is of the Qur'an came from where? It came from Allah. But in the beginning of this passage, who is the ultimate light himself? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is saying, if you follow this path, then I will not only guide you to the light that is inside of you, that I put there, not only to the light of the Qur'an, I will guide you all the way to meet myself. I will guide you all the way to my own light. يَهْدِ اللَّهُ لِنُورِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ All the way to him. This is the ayah where the believer goes on a journey to meet with his Rabb. He'll meet him, he'll see his light, his, his light manifest, subhanAllah. يَهْدِ اللَّهُ لِنُورِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ For whoever wants. Any of you want it, you can go. مَنْ يَشَاءُ is understood in two ways. That's the other profound miracle of the Qur'an. مَنْ يَشَاءُ means who, Allah will guide all the way to his light to meet with him, whoever he wants. And at the same time, it actually means whoever wants. The Siddhatul Mosul can be understood simultaneously as whoever wants. In other words, in this ayah, Allah combined his light and my light. Allah combined His will and my will. I have to show will. I have to show intention that I want to meet Him. And then His will and my will will become one. Because He wants me to be guided and I want His guidance. They become one. So I, you have to ask yourself, are you the people who want Allah's guidance? 